Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey and today we are back with another Power World build video and we're moving on, we're moving on with the base, right? So last time we finished the shrine, right? The area where we are gonna give our worship so we can capture better pals, right? Because we need that, we need that really badly. So, okay, all right, so what are we gonna be doing? So I'm moving the temporary farming area right so there's the farming area that's what we have so we're gonna tear all that down we're gonna move it out of the way so we can be nice and clean as you can see right now right everything's gone everything is moved and now we're gonna start with this idea that i have okay so where i'm at a lot of you have been asking and i'm gonna put the coordinates on the link on the description that way you guys can have it this is in the very very early part in the game right right when you come down the mountain right like the third level down i believe is right there if you love this area if you're trying to imitate a lot of these ideas that we're doing here okay so the area is small right right when i push my base may not be like the most actual best location but you know this is where we started and i really wanted to practice on the game right that that's what we're doing this build video that's what we're doing this series and i just want to keep practicing and get to know the game so what i'm trying to do now here is because i have such a small area right and now we we i wanna this is a crazy idea but i want to do a rooftop garden where i'm gonna do all my all my crops they're gonna grow on the top and slowly eventually in the future we can expand on it right but at least for now enough that it can sustain the base and then on the bottom we are going to do the crafting area where we're going to put one of the assembly lines where we're going to put all the other um tools and equipment that we use in the game right okay so like we did with the shrine you know this is the same idea i'm gonna clip in a little bit into the wall so i can save some space right and as you can see i started trying to find out the right level where how high do i want it to be and as i'm learning this game you know when you use the flooring you see how it leaves the gaps on the bottom you can go really high but then you're missing right and i really did want to see that structure so what are you what i'm what you're seeing here i'm trying to do at the floor on the bottom and you can't get too close, right? Because it's gonna clip in, right? It, we have a thing about it wants to attach as soon as you get close. But the problem is, you see, it's leaving a gap, right? And I'm, I'm gonna try to work as close as I can. So I know I needed more of a more of a walkway on the top. So we're gonna try to redo this again. And one of the things that you gotta see, you know, and this time I'm gonna make sure that everything is all the way to the bottom, just to make sure. So now I'm adding four pieces, right? But the problem with this idea, because I do wanna hire, I wanna be able to walk on the top, right? I wanna have more. But the problem that I found out for me was that it pushed everything forward, right? It brought everything into the center of the camp. And that's not what I want either. And and that was a little bit situation, that was a little problem. So that took me a moment and I needed to kind of rethink my situation. So as you can see right here, this is uh, something that I've been trying to do that it, it's actually working along very well. You know, kind of you put the stairs where you want it. You can't really put a flooring because you got to clip it on the bottom, you know, of the stairs. But you know what? We can almost put it in top. Now there is a little bit of a gap. There's, there's just a weird way it comes down. but. As you start walking it, you don't really see it. So, and I, I like this way to kind of put two stairs together that in a normal way you could not do in the game. So it, it's a really cool way to kind of do something a little more unique, right? Okay, so as you can see, I got my, my platform on the top, you know, I know I'm gonna go a little wider, uh, at least the same width as I got on the bottom. So I'm putting the floor down once again, because we are gonna have a part of this building. It's gonna be ground level and then top level, right? So we're having a two story structure. That's that's the idea. Okay, so and my first design, my first design, it, it was the top part, you know, it was gonna have like the, all these little compartment rooms because it was supposed to be kind of like a home uh, and then have a little terrace and in the terrace we were gonna put a little of the garden. Well, that idea slowly I had to rework it because uh, it was not gonna work, especially with everything that I had and the way I was trying to work this, kind of clipping in into the wall. It kind of became a struggle. Some of the walls were not gonna work all the time. So then I, I started thinking, okay, but what about if I do a more Kind of okay so let me do like a real home on the on the top you know and then we can i can move the work area on the top and do the garden on the bottom and that was going to be my next idea and that's why on the top it's starting to look a little more like a home right 
Now we have a situation here that we don't have any fences, right? Uh, we don't have any gates, uh, small ones that you can do balconies or or kind of like your, your little porch idea, right? Wrap around decks, we don't have that. But I did create an illusion and I think this illusion is gonna work out and I think many of you are gonna like it, but we gotta wait just a little bit before we get there until we can talk about it. But okay, so as you can see, you know, I, I extended again the flooring, right? Uh, we got more flooring again, but this, it was coming too blocky. It was staying way too much. I got nothing on the ground and I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. It's not working the way that I want to. So you know what? So I was like, scrap the idea. This this is gonna be my baseline. This is the baseline where I can't go past this flooring, right? And I put in the wall again, cause I like the idea of the wall. I don't wanna see the structure, but you see, it leaves this big gap and that gap was, was bothering me. So, okay, so what I decided is, what about if I use the roof? The roof as the walking, right? Let, let's say you're building a two-story home, right? You can walk on the roof, right? So I was like, okay, well, if I can do that, it won't clip into the floor. I understand that. But can we make this illusion happen? So first, I was trying to see if I can use the defense walls to kind of cover the gap, but I still, when you walk into it, it's just not gonna look good. So as you know, you know what? Okay, so we're gonna restructure this. We're gonna redo a lot of this work again because we need to get this right, right? So, so now uh, we're gonna center this. I'm gonna try to get it as close as possible uh, to the wall. You know, we're gonna raise it just a tad, you know, because, you know, we wanna be able to put a little steps as you walk in. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I'm adding the little roof and then this, when I slowly start noticing, wait, I can do the roof the opposite way and use that as a flooring. Now, again, you can attach the roof into the stone steps, right? It just, you can, it just, it won't attach it. But, but we can get really close. And once we did that, we really got really close. And then it looks really good. And I was really happy about this. Now, there could be an easier way to do this, if you know it, and maybe I went around the long way. Let me know because, uh, you know, sometimes when, when I'm building like this, I'm going with the flow, I'm going with what works, you know, and I can remember, maybe I could have just done the flooring on the bottom, but I really wanted stairs to also attach. So I needed kind of this so we can attach stairs. So I can't just use, I don't know, like, like the, 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 there's still a lot to learn, right? Let's just put it that way. But as you can see, I'm, I'm bracing this in and I'm kind of trying to match the flooring into the roof. And once I did that slowly, there was a little gap. We're gonna refix that. And, and in this build, you know, I had to skip a couple of times because we just kept trying to align things in being center and center and being correctly. So there's gonna be some tight jumps, but it's more to save time. You know, the changes are still there. You're gonna be able to see the changes. It's just more of like the knee picking that is not straight, right? Okay, so now we're gonna add the floor right over here on the bottom again. Now, I did notice that that's uh, the alignment in the back it's not correct, so I can attach the floor on the bottom. So we're gonna fix this. Now, if you're starting this and you're watching this and you watched the whole thing and you like the idea, you know, a lot of this, you can probably do the roof, uh, do the flooring. You know, there, there are steps that if I had to redo this, we can do a lot quicker. So hopefully, as you're watching this, you know what you need to do and how to restructure. Okay, so one of the reasons that I wanted the that flooring right there is still gonna do the stairs. Now, I, I didn't try if you can put stairs, attach it to the roof, and because that was the case, it could have made this build a little bit quicker, I'll be honest. Uh, now that I'm watching this, maybe it can. I need to try that. If we can put stairs and they, would they attach to the, to the roof tile and you can come down? Uh, so, oh, maybe it does, because if you're doing a second story, oh my gosh. So maybe you can actually skip this step. This step that I'm on right here, it can probably be skipped and not have to use this particular stone pillars that I did with the roofing to raise the platform for your flooring. Oh my gosh, I think it can be done. So if you're watching this, I think you can actually just go with the roof. Instead of moving this part here, you can actually do the roof and then do the stairs come down. So if that works, let me know if you give that a try. The build will still be the same, right? Nothing will change, you know? It's just that extra piece and it will save you a lot of time. Now, besides that, again, I put in the stairs down and now what I'm gonna try to do here is kinda 
clipping the flooring. Now, this part you do need. You need to use this so you can kind of make the different connections. So you have a platform, a tall platform, so you can make a, a sequence of stairs, right? And I really like how this works. So now to cover the back, I did added the wall right over here. So we're adding a back wall. Uh, so that way we don't see that and it looks more like a solid room, right? And if, if the other idea works and you can do this without doing the flooring like that, the way I did it, and you can actually just use the roof and you can add the stairs, I'm telling you, it's going to save you so much time. Okay, so now it's just trying to get things centered. I noticed that I couldn't put one of the other walls down, so we need to kind of readjust a little bit. Now this part here, uh, aligning this, uh, you really want to get it as close as possible to the stairs. Sometimes it's getting it in a right level, you know, so it can the illusion looks a little better. And then sometimes getting the center is a little hard. Sometimes it works and you get it the first time. Sometimes you're going to be off center, off center into your get it right. But look at that. Now we got the building. Now we got the flooring. We got the top. We got the roof. We got the divisions. And, and like I mentioned earlier, I was changing my mind, you know, and I was going to do the top flooring. I was going to do now the crafting area. And then on the bottom, I was going to do all the garden, uh, gardening, right? And we're trying again right over here. Uh, we're going to start shaping the home. But as I was trying to do this and do this, it was not going to, the home that I wanted on the top was not going to work, was not going to look good. I needed more space and I didn't have the space. You know, we're, we're, we, you can see the blue line of the base right in that mountain, right through those windows. You can see that blue line. So I cannot make this any bigger, right? And I cannot make it any, any smaller either. Uh, but it, to do the roofing that I wanted to, it can look good. So it just, just doesn't look flat, you know, and the home have the space that I needed for all the little crafting area is, it just needed to be reworked, right? So uh, so that took me some time to kind of restructure my new plans again. But as you can see, on the bottom was supposed to be very open. Eventually we do change that idea because then we flip back again. We go ahead and we're gonna start putting the garden back on top because I, I started having another idea and I was like, you know what? You know what would be cool? If we can actually do the middle part and make it feel like we got pergolas. Now, that's a lot of people use that in gardens, you know, and I think that's a really cool idea. So I was like, you know what? I can go in this route and make a little, kind of like if fake pergolas in the top of the roofing, right in the middle and make some divisions. So we got, it feels like we got a walkway to go to. And then the most important will be how to make the little balcony happen. Now the balcony on this build is the key, right? Because when you have it just like this on the air, right? And there's no way to have a little balcony uh, fence, you know? It just looks odd. It just looks off, right? It just doesn't look complete. Now I'm adding more support beams on the bottom and eventually I, I wish we had columns. so because I really wanted the corners of this building to be open on purpose. You know, that was part of my idea and design. I really wanted the corners to be open, but the longer that I left it open, it just didn't look right to me. And the, the great thing about this game is that you can actually leave it the way you want, right? Uh, but I like to more be in the realistic aspect. So eventually we're gonna put walls. Okay, so now this, this is a section that I did, I tried so many different things. Uh, into I finally got so I saved you the time I tried crazy I tried this I did a lot of this work but eventually I, I got to the point that I wanted to try the bench now the bench is amazing I, I feel like it created something so good in here and it really made it feel more like a porch at first it, it's, uh, it's weird to do this you know and to make it all work and to make it all fit but it's it's actually works so good. Now, it's, it's tricky and it's gonna take you many tries. Trust me, it's gonna take you many tries unless you're really good at precision and not moving your mouse as you're moving your character to get it just as close at the edge. It might be a little crooked now and then, you know, sometimes it was a little crooked on my end and in and some areas I was like, you know what, it's okay, it's okay. But trust me, it's gonna take you a moment. The camera angles in this game are still not the best. It's really hard to see if we had a grid system that we know we are lining and everything is straight, that will help so much. But right now we don't have that. So so I'm trying to see, and sometimes we're leaving too much of a gap. So this is, I left this part in, I almost trimmed it and I did trim part of it, you know, because it took forever. 
and and i really want you to be prepared i mean you might be better than me uh placing this but it may take you quite a bit right uh so but we're gonna go the the, the great thing about this idea is you're gonna go all the way around and once you do that and then you add a little bit of decoration and then you look at it from the bottom man it looks like we have some rails. Now, it's not as tall as we would like, right? But it has that little effect that we're looking for, right? That you need, instead of having it just a plain floor open like this, this helps a lot. It helped me, it helped my mind to kind of accept this bill and make it feel like it's real, you know? And and you can see right here, you know, we this is a speed bill, so it's sped up and you can tell how long. Imagine this in real time, it took forever. It took forever. It was just so much of work. Okay, so you're gonna go to a point when you do this, and we did this fence in different areas, but this is my first look from the bottom, and it was looking so good, you know, but you're gonna come to places that sometimes it's, it's not meant to be like this, so you're gonna have a gap. So you gotta play with this idea, how you want this gap to where they're gonna be, because uh, you're gonna have a little gap in between, or one big one, two small ones, uh, you can time it somehow to be, uh, especially if you're doing this dimension. Now, if you do it bigger, I don't know if everything falls perfectly. It's all about math, but man, it's just looking so good, right? Like like that bench going across. Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's, it's a perspective. It's an illusion, right? But I do feel like it did the trick. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to add some, some of these vines, right? Now, the vines don't clip on the roof. They don't clip on the roof so you gotta get it in a in a in a specific high in the little wall you know to a certain height and then it clips and then the little tall part it feels like it's kind of grabbing the top now that's also just to help this build look a little better you know take away all these all these harsh corners all these little flat areas and you know and, and give it a little more depth you know uh and a little more design so that's what you're seeing we're gonna add all these vines and then eventually we are gonna close out the front with we're gonna add some walls because if we had columns i could have done exactly what i wanted but we don't have that so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, put two walls so we can have two small rooms in the corner. Now, if you think about uh, uh, villages and stuff like that, you know, a lot of those, uh, they were open, so the smoke can come out and stuff like that. So it kind of makes sense, and that's kind of what I was going for, you know, a little smithy style of room, you know, they're working with furnace, and we're gonna put a lot of the equipment over there. Now, now on the top, what I wanted to do is kind of put a little plan so we can create a little bit of height and kind of, kind of you forget that these are benches right now some of the planters did work and you're able to put it on top of the bench some of the other ones did not let me do it sometimes if you try 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 sometimes you get it to go on but sometimes it won't so right here i was trying to hide these gaps like this to kind of like take your mind off of it by looking at the plants and that's something that i was going to try eventually this centerpiece we are going to redo this and i think eventually it does look a little bit better the way we have it it looks more, a little more uniform but right now i was just trying to test things out and if you like this idea you like the way this looks you know uh then you can keep it like this right or keep rearranging and make it your own uh, move things around you know i I, th I think a lot of you are going to be super inspired now um what, what I ended up doing, like like I said, the rooftop is two of these sections are going before the garden. The middle section, if we're going to do a little sitting area, you know, because you want to enjoy, you're enjoying the view, you don't, you're enjoying everything that you're seeing of the base of your home or your camp. So that's really nice. So now this area, we're going to add a lot of these vines. Again, I think they bring a little bit element, especially on the area that we're on. So as you can see, some area going to be like really heavy with the green. So we're putting a lot. So it feels like really heavy. And I think it does help the illusion of this garden rooftop area and we got a little bit coming in like this and it just looks so good and i'm hoping i'm hoping that the developers will give us more of these vines in different shapes and form and darker colors and and maybe that we can also flip them around as well and stuff like that but for the moment you know we we have it the way it is okay so now that i have everything together we got the square we got the fence i really was hoping that we can drop this in and guess what we can, we can drop it now. Uh, this one, the benches on this particular edge, as you can see, they're not all the way to the edge. So this one came a little more to the corner, but that's okay. You know, I was not gonna move everything. It's something very minimal. Now, the other thing is was, you know, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm like, can the piles come over here? 
and come all the way up and plant the seeds and do everything. And then yes, they can. And that was so exciting to see. They come over here, they water the crops, they do everything they need to do. And so cool to see them coming up the stairs, doing what they need to do, and then just go in and out all the time uh, to harvest, to plant. I think it's just great. And it's so fun to see. It's, it's one of the greatest things about this game, right? The pals, the way they interact, the way they do. I, you know, it, it's just great. It's just great. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now a lot of this portion is gonna be adding the vines, feeling the vibes, see what we need. You know, I, I really wanna take away and make it blend a little bit with the nature that we got out here, um, make it feel a little more natural. And we got all of this overgrown happening. And as you can see, now we're gonna finish doing some of the plants just to make sure because you always want to make sure sometimes you place them like this and you can kind of see it but there's a big difference once you place it down and it's actually visible than being transparent and i really like what we got here now like i said the middle piece is going to change that part definitely is going to change because it was a little too much it, it took away and i really wanted to be able to once we set the table we want to be able to see okay so now as you can see i'm adding the walls i'm taking the steps and uh, the steps away from the side and we're going to add a little more vines right over here and this makes it feel very complete you know and i feel like the building is taking shape and we finally got a building now like i said this is not the vision that i had you know it wasn't working out the way that i want to but the great thing about this is this is why building is fun, right? It's that secret, you don't know what you're building, you know, that it's gonna work, not gonna work, and how you're gonna adjust, and how you're gonna make it better, and how you're gonna improve it. So it's, it's that's the fun, and that's what I love uh, designing and building in games, because you don't know what you're gonna read to. You have a plan, and how can that plan be fixed or how can you fix it yourself and take it to the next level? Okay, so now we added the silo. Now by adding the silo, uh, the steps were not gonna work. There were a little things that I needed to fix. As you can see, I extended the walkway. Uh, we added the stairs. So we're gonna do the same thing that we've done already again. We're gonna find a place where we get to blue. Pick the height that you want. You can go higher than me or lower. You know, just pick whichever height that you want. That part uh, is gonna be up to you. But once you get it, and you get it on the blue, then you walk it forward, you get once turns red, walk it back, and turns to blue, and then you drop it. And then, and like I said, pick the height that you want. What uh, sometimes you may place it, you don't like the height, just take it down and do it again. But as you can see, now we got the stair system going up and down. Now, this stair system is gonna change again. It's gonna change again because as the build keeps evolving, uh, the more layouts, the more idea, and once we start bringing the equipment, then you really start thinking, oh wait, I can add this here instead, I can put that there instead, and you know, idea just keep evolving. Okay, so now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna slowly, slowly, this is the original working area. Look at where we were to what we're doing now, right? First it was basic. First it was to get us going and get us started so we can then start doing what we're doing now, right? Uh, we did our first base uh, home. Uh, we did the shrine. Now we're doing the uh, the rooftop garden and the crafting uh, session on the bottom and with an assembly line that is gonna be hidden so you don't see it, you know? And, and I can't wait. I can't wait for the next build because after this, We'll talk about it a little later, where we're gonna move on and what we're gonna do, but I'm excited for that as well. I already got ideas. Okay, so as I was bringing the tools, I started to notice that I don't like this mismatch. I don't like the silo where it's at now. I don't like this equipment here. You know, it just, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right. You know, it doesn't have a flow, right? A, a, a good movement. So so this got my mind thinking that, I, okay, I need to take this to the next level. Uh, one of the things is I did want it to see the spinning wheel, you know, you know, because it's showcase. I didn't want it to be hitting. I want it to be front center in part of the bill. So I was like, you know what? We need to move the silo. So what I did, I brought the steps back on this side and really the steps on this side closer to the building looks so much better it just it looks so much better so what we're gonna do we're gonna extend the floor and then we're gonna put the silo up here kind of like like front center you see it and i really liked it right here now i wish the silo itself was bigger instead of this little smaller but i did like to put it elevated because it did it did make it feel bigger until you get next to it and then you see how small it is but having it there i think it'll look really good so now what we're going to do is we're going to extend again more of this area we're going to extend the platform and then this is when the build got a little 
bigger than I anticipated. You know, we have a small entryway to get into our village, right? And we're getting really close to it. And to the point that we got really close, by the end of the video, you're gonna see how close we are. That's something else that we gotta work on, right? We gotta work on our official entrance to our little village base camp that we are building right here. Okay, so now I'm moving a couple of the pieces, you know, and slowly gonna break this down, move pieces over and see where they need to belong, right? Where do they fit best? Uh, do they work here? And this, this is gonna be up to you, right? Uh, you can see what I'm doing, you can like the way I'm doing it, or if you can take this branch and move things around, you know? Maybe you prefer this piece over here, maybe you press this silo on the bottom. Uh, and that's gonna be exciting, right? Because um, to me, the layout is the most important, you know, and, and give you that inspiration to have a very good layout that it can make your flow, make your base camp look really well, right? Because that, that's what we're trying to do here, you know, but the decoration, where the items are gonna go, I'm gonna leave that up to you, you know? Uh, you can follow my example, you can copy it to the last detail, or you can take inspiration, you know, and then move things around, you know, and something that for your eyes may look even better. But as you can see, I'm trying to get this center. I'm trying to get the right portion, you know, like not too close, but not too much forward, not to have too much of a gap. I'm picky that way. I'm just a very picky builder. My goodness, Jersey, you just gotta calm down, calm down. Okay. All right, so so we got that spinning wheel over there. You know, I really like it. It looks really good. Everything looks over there. The farm is working. You see it, they're harvesting, they're planting. Everything is looking great. I really like the way this is feeling, right? It's, it's shaping up a lot better than I ever expected. Okay, so the other thing was, again, I really like what we did with the with the little terrace area, right? Adding the benches to make it feel like we have a balcony fence. So that's what we're gonna do again. We're gonna do it right over here in this portion because it looked a little too empty and I did not like that feel once again. You know, uh, you don't have to do this in this particular section over here. I do like the feel of it. I do like the look of it. So I prefer doing this little extra work as you can see right here. So we're gonna have to move the silo. That's gonna be the next step. So we can make this uh, uh, fold right and it makes it a little bit easier. So uh, so we're gonna take that out very soon because I kept trying and trying. I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is uh, too much work, too much work. Let's just take it down and go ahead and do that. Now, and that's a great thing about uh, power, right? Uh, don't be afraid to break things down, try something new. And if it doesn't work, then you can build it back up. You already know what you like, but if you have a new idea, don't be afraid. Truly, do not be afraid to try something new, to try an idea, because it could make it feel so much better, you know? And and that's something that I'm learning and getting more comfortable, you know? Destroying things real quickly to try. Yeah, it does take time, you know? It always takes time. It's not just straightforward and, you know, you could spend 40 minutes on something and then you wanna try something. So by the time you take it down and try it and don't like it, and then now it takes you another 20 minutes to rebuild it. You know, yeah, it is time, but I think at the end, it's truly worth it. Now, on this particular section, we did have two empty spots. So what, what I did here is I added these tools, you know, uh, and you may be wondering, okay, that's a little odd, these tools, but when you look at it from the floor, it actually looks really good. Like it almost belongs. And then eventually you forget about it. You forget about it, but down here, see it? It looks really good from the floor. It looks great. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leave it. It doesn't even need anything on the top to, to help the illusion. It already looks good. So we're gonna leave it like that. So now the next thing is we're gonna continue and add this little fencing with the benches all the way back here make it align, make it feel good, you know, and it makes it feel complete. And I'm telling you, for me, for <laughs> for how picking I am, this helped me so much, you know, because it added that little detail that felt like it was unfinished, right? And the benches now, I wish now we have more benches in more colors. Even this, this same bench in different colors would be amazing because and then we can mix and match and do so much uh, more unique builds, you know, uh, but, telling you what I, I mean if, if if you're doing this I'm telling you the benches if you're doing a, a porch a wraparound porch little balcony all of that the bench is gonna be your best friend trust me now again this idea you can make it work I did try the crates I did try some of the other uh, storage units you know but for the for the feeling that I really wanted to go here the bench was was the best now I did had another one that was looking really good but it looked a little too modern and not 
combination of the wood and the feel that I'm going on this particular bill. So the bench was, was the best option. Okay, so now we're taking this whole down, the, the middle down, right? It was too busy, too much. Every time I step up here, I can't see. I can't see out into our bench. So you, I was like, you know what? I like the idea of what I did with the bench of uh, the little stool. So, but the stool was not gonna work. So what I did is I kind of took it all into one side, right? We took, we took it all to one side. And then instead of the flower pot, that big one that we had on the top earlier, we're gonna put it on the bottom. We're gonna put it right there, you know, make it straight. It still gives us those legs, it still gives you that brown. And you know what? It worked out really well. I really liked it. It goes in the combination of what we have in all the other four corners. Kind of it's the same plan, you know? Plus we're gonna do a little flower arrangement right over here with the other plants as well. We're gonna add the table, we're gonna add a little share, and it's gonna be like a little little tea drinking area, break area, you know, and you're, you're doing what you need to do and you need for a break and you come over here and you're gonna have a great time. So, okay, so as you can see, we're still setting this. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, turn, turn the, the plan and all that. Cause sometimes for some reason you're placing it and it's something is not registered and then you just twist it. You see on the same spot, but you just turn in the item and then you can place it. So play, play around with that. Sometimes or not, not all the items are going to work right away, but sometimes by just, just flipping them, just turning them, it makes it accessible and then you can plant them. So Go figure, right? Go figure. Okay, all right, so we're adding the, another little table over there. So now we're making a little, little, little tea room, little tea section here. So the idea is that this middle room is where people are coming in, people can sit, people are, are taking a break. Maybe you were working hard, You it's break time, uh, something like that, you know? And that's what we're doing here. As you can see, we're gonna put this beautiful table. So we went a little elegant, a little more elegant on the top, right? Because this is a rooftop garden. We gotta make it look good, make it feel, fit, make it feel really nice. Now, and I put in the chairs in different way, not super perfect, not super, in the center, you know, uh, one is facing one way, one is facing the other one. Make it feel a little more lived in. Maybe people were just here. Maybe I was just sitting here and I just got up. Maybe one of the pals were using it, you know, and taking a little break, but that's what I wanted. And again, uh, when it comes to this and making things center, I will say it again, that it's really hard in Pal, in Pal World. The camera is, it's really hard to tell when you got things centered, if you're truly centered, because sometimes you're so much to the side, you can tell, you can tell if your table is a little crooked or not, but that's what I said, don't be afraid to redo it, redo it, redo it. A lot of time in during this video, this little video process here, I had to edit a lot of that type of footage because it was so repetitive because I, I will spend 10 minutes just trying to place one item to make sure that it was at least in my vision center and in the proper spot that I really wanted. Now, uh, so we're gonna try a couple more items over here. I really wanted to do kind of like a little uh, area that we can see the time, people coming here. Once again, like this is a little recreation area, right? Now, uh, I wanted to try some of these new items and see how they look like. So we, we got a little basket, we got a little partition, you know, but none of these items, even though I really wanted to use it, it was gonna fit the vibe that I was going over here. And I, I thought, you know what, it's fine. We don't need all of these items right over here. So what I'm gonna do is let me finish the little rooftop garden because I did want one under, under the roof and then another one outside of the area, right at the balcony, right? So we got two plus, two plus, and this is gonna give us a lot of the food supplies that we need right now for this base. It's fitting everybody very well. Everybody's getting everything that they need. So it's, that's really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna, uh, I'm trying to place now the first furnace. And uh, this is gonna be our first section. This is gonna be where we're gonna put the furnace, uh, the cooking uh, stove over here as well. Uh, we end up putting one of the, uh, items that gives you better logging. So you're gonna see that pretty cool. Uh, we also add in the, uh, one of the items that give you a better mining production as well. So we're gonna see those items very soon uh, and how we added it into this build. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, we gotta add again, the silo back. Everything is shaping up. The rooftop area is looking good. We got the divisions, we got the little fencing and everything's working and I really, I'm really becoming very happy the way this is coming out. So here's the mining and the little mining card, this uh, item, if you unlock it, it's gonna improve your mining 
of your pals and all of that so that's going to be really good so you need that you need that in the base camp so make sure you build that and put that in your base camp so you get better results okay so we're putting the cooking and this one right there the one that uh, it looks like you're shopping wood. It's also for better result for logging. So I went ahead and added that, and I added that inside the square because it's like you're shopping wood, so you can then put feed the furnace and keep it hot and burning. And and so th that that was my thinking. So it's kind of more telling a little story inside that little square. So and I thought that was a really good place for now to put it. Okay, so we're moving along and trying to find what's the best way to place the next item. So uh, in this little plaza over there, we put one of the other ones and then I'm trying to work on the next room, right? And what do I want this to be? Uh, I'm noticing that right now, uh, it's really hard for my pals to go into my home so they can help me craft and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna bring the workbenches out here and that's why I say this is not just a rooftop garden, but it's also the crafting area. And the crafting area is going to be in the bottom of the on the bottom floor right uh on the first level right down here so we got the square so i'm putting the crafting table here we're putting the pile one over there but eventually we're going to move it but this gives you an at least an idea an idea on how you can approach it right uh these rooms these sections are going to be up to you you know how you want to add and what you want to add you can do it very different than i did you can still do the farm down here if you want to but the, uh, doing it on the top you know if you're one of those people that think realistic then we get the sun you know even though we got one section that's under the roof but it's still open all the way around so that's going to give you like uh, the sun coming through here and sun through over there. Okay, so we were building a couple of the items, trying to make sure that everything is looking good. We were adding a couple of the light swords. As you can see, we're adding a couple more lamps uh, because we're gonna have electricity. Those lamps look absolutely great, you know? At night, they're very bright. So it could change the mood. Maybe that's not the mood that you want to go for. So maybe you prefer still more of that little uh, torches and stuff like that so that's going to be up to you what kind of light source but i really wanted to try it out so and i felt like it was the right time okay so here we're finally moving we just placed those in that other room but i decided to leave it in the middle room i kind of would like to come in and then walk my way back now originally i had my the weapon bench in the back and then we, we were going to put the other benches on the other side but then i had this idea that you know what i want to put my spheres assembly line back there very hidden because you know they kind of take away the look of the village and they don't fit but if i can put it hidden then i can have it and it's gonna look really good right and we need them because they're higher spheres you cannot make it on the table so so what i decided is one of the uh assembly line i want to do it hidden so we're gonna do it back here you're gonna see that in just a moment i think i think it's gonna it's gonna work out really great Okay, so we needed to add a little more vines. Uh, in some section, uh, there's a lot of vines, other sections are not. You know, it's something that you kind of see in real life, you know, a section of a wall has so many, but then the other section, nothing. You know, so I wanted I wanted to go with that feel, like this side is, there's so, so much vines, right? Okay, so now on this corner up here, I had this rock and I couldn't do anything with the benches. So I kind of wanted to hide that and making it look a little better, right? So what I did is I added another stone flooring platform over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the, uh, the electricity, the electric uh, tower, and we're going to put it right over here in this center piece. Now, at first, I wanted to see if we can kind of close it out because I kind of didn't want to see it, you know, I, I and this is going to be up to you. If you wanna show it or don't show it, right? But at the end, I decided, you know what, for now, I'm gonna leave it in the open, you know? At first I was gonna enclose it and maybe just do a door, but it, it, it was gonna look so blocky, you know, out of nowhere. And I, I was like, ah, maybe not, maybe not. Well, maybe what I'll do, I just keep it on the open and put it in the back area like this. And it actually looks really good because in a way it's a little modern, but it's not too modern so you know it's gonna be up to you depending what you want now okay so now we are here we're going to uh, make the flooring now when you do this right here right uh, and, and a lot of you have asked how do you place the floor so low so at some point as you're pushing right as you're doing the flooring and you're pushing it and then it's gonna click to go up it starts very flat. You gotta do it very slowly. So it's a lot easier if you do it through a mouse. If you do it to control, you can still do it, but be very sensitive on your uh, thumbstick 
and then press it and press it until you see it that it's going to clip into the ground and then slowly start going up. But you got to keep pushing forward. Don't move your character forward. Just either push your mouse forward or your thumbstick and just push it forward. But okay. So because I really, I, I wanted the ground floor, like there's a little uh, break area over here, but the grass is growing through it. I think that's a really cool illusion. And it just gives it, again, a little more texture instead of just being complete brick, this will help it give it a little texture. Now I did wanna kinda divide the little entryways over here and have like three lanes, right? To go in on purpose, right? Uh, kinda like their own little fences and their own little storage areas in the front. Now, uh, they're, all of these are storage units that you can use for storage if you wanna organize things even better. I'm just putting them here. Right now, I'm letting my pals, as long as it's in the base, <laughs> uh, I'm okay wherever they put it. Eventually, I do wanna organize a little better, you know, but for now, you know, I wanna decorate and I'm gonna put all these crates and even though I got things closer, they want to come over here and put stuff. I'm okay with it. You know, use them. I'm putting down, I want to decorate, you know, I, I, I need to decorate because I don't want them just to put one thing in one place. So, so it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Okay. So now on the inside, you know, they look a little, a, a, a little plain. So what I decided to do is in some of this room, we're going to add some vines. Some of them are going to have a lot. Some of them are going to have a little less. You know, we, we I don't want to make it look identical each and every time when it comes to the vine. So as you see, some of them, this one, this one got a lot. The other one's going to have just very little. And we also going to add things to the wall, things to the room. We want to make it feel, you know, different. I added a different type of crates, as you can see, ones that had cloth on the top uh, and just kind of go a little more diagonal instead of a little straight, kind of still making that division because we, I still want to make that division between the different, uh, uh, sections, but I didn't want it just a straight line, right? So that's why you're seeing here. I'm just going a little off to the side, a little bit over here, uh, maybe tilt a little bit of the items. So now I'm adding a couple of the chairs, imagining that people sit, you know, they need to sit, they got working, maybe they're, they're a little tired, they're waiting for the next uh, client to come through, you know, maybe it, um, you have, you're you playing on a server and you know, you, your friends are coming, you know, you, you gotta use your imagination, but adding all that stuff really helps. Okay, so here's when I was gonna, uh, I'm gonna start adding my sphere assembly line, right? And like I mentioned, this, they take a lot of space. <laughs> And also they give you a different feel to your base, right? When you put this out there, it's very industrial, right? It looks <laughs> industrial, you can't hide it. But I wanted to hide it. I didn't want this to be in the open. It just takes away of the vision that I'm trying to create. So, so as you can tell, so uh, it was a perfect opening. The length fit, you know, now originally I didn't plan the length i just in this part i'm gonna be honest i got luck i got lucky i got super lucky right because that idea came after a little bit but it worked out and i'm so happy that the little assembly line for the sphere fit back there perfectly perfectly i mean i i i, I, I could not ask for anything better, right? So, okay, so because I put that back there, I, I have my weapon bench back there. So I move it now to this other room over here, you know, the one on the other corner, and that worked out great. So now I got a lot of this. Now we're gonna add also the repair bench out here. The only one that I didn't put out here just yet is the medicine one. That one is still in the home because right now the pals, every time I put medicine to go, they go in there and work it. So I'm gonna keep it there for now. Eventually I do need to bring it out here because guess what? We're gonna have to move our house because now that we're gonna have the space, we can do the house and move it properly because there's a reason why to do that. And whenever we get to that video, then I'll explain why I want to do that. Okay, so now, now one of the other pieces that we need to do uh, here is we need to add the little logging mine and the rock mining, right? The stone mining. So that's going to be very important. Now, this this took me a little time uh, to try. Uh, of course, I really wanted to be in next to this area, next to this building. I really wanted to be at the very edge of the building because uh, I wanted, I don't want to utilize more of the center and more of the front, right? Uh, on the front, because that's where we're going to work 
on our little farm and the little breeding area that we need to do. So we're gonna, we're gonna make something very special and, and ideas already, you know, coming in and I'm so excited and I hope that you guys enjoy it, right? And if you're enjoying it, you know, the, the, the video, you know, I hope that you continue to follow because, you know, this is just the basic. We're gonna then do a bigger one. We're gonna do other design, all the builds idea as we keep, you know, doing more and more I'm, I'm excited i'm excited to continue to build in this amazing game that we're loving okay so what i did here is i i wanted i wanted the logging area to look straight right i just didn't want it to be lopsided so what i did i added a flooring i added the the tree uh over here i added the steps you can get over here and they can mine now the problem was for me in my end is i discovered eventually eventually in the final walkthrough is fixed but over here when they were mining and the wood was falling it was falling outside of the circle so nobody was able to pick it up so i had to fix that that way in the final walkthrough can be shown now uh the video process of that uh I forgot to hit record. I do apologize. I thought I was recording. You know, it, I just came in real quick to fix that once I noticed it. And I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. But you will see in the final walkthrough. But it basically, we just moved it closer and to the other side. Basically, we just, instead of long ways, we made it uh, uh, horizontal the other way. And that was that and we fixed it. Okay, all right. So now on the very top, you know, one of the other things that I forgot to add because right now we have it, is the, the wheat field, right? Uh, we need wheat, you know, because eventually we need wheat for other, for the breeding sections that we wanna do. We need that cake and all that stuff. So so at first I wanted to do my first field uh, uh, over here. And I, I extended it over here. We still just barely outside of the circle in one little corner. I wanted to see if this was gonna be a problem for the wheat, but no, as you can see, it's growing. Everything is great. So I was like, okay, perfect. So uh, we got the wheat field. It's also in the rooftop. And then what we did, we added again, the benches all the way around the platform just to make it feel like we have a little fence. And man, I'm telling you what, I really like this look when it comes to the benches, making it feel like it's a little fence. I think it just, it looks good, especially when you look at it from far away. Every time the illusion looks amazing. Amazing, right? Okay. All right, so, so we gotta finish doing this. Everything is working. You see how we are just outside the circle area, but everything is still growing. We're still getting our wheat. So if that happens to you, you know, you're a little outside the circle, you're fine. It's still producing wheat. Okay, so now we're gonna add the final touches that we need to the centerpiece. As you can see, we're doing the lamps, the, uh, the, the ceiling lamp. And because we got electricity, it's so bright. It's such a different look compared with the torches, right? It's just a different feel. And I really like it. I really like what than the way it made it make this area feel. So so we put a little uh, uh a little table over here, kind of like a little break room, the eating something, they can sit on the on the porch as well in the balcony area. They can do that. So now the other thing that I really wanted to do, I wanted to see if I can it will let me put a wall right here. And once I know it will let me, I was like, let's go. We're going to do a little pergola right over here again and match the other side and do a little roofing like this just for aesthetic. All this is just aesthetic. I just really like this look, you know. If you don't like this, you don't have to do it. You can still do the top like this. So we're going to add more vines, you know, um, on this area right over here. So we're going to add more on the inside. I really kind of wanted to do a, a little bit of these borders over here and kind of hide a little more of these vines. So that's what we're doing and adding vines in just different places. And like I said, every single room is different. Ones are got, got a lot, other ones got a little less, you know, and, and that to me is important because it makes it feel a little more natural, right? Like a little more realistic in that sense. Okay, so we're adding vines again because I really want vines all over here as well just to match the other side. And as you can see, we just adding more and more and more. And and the vines look so pretty. They're, they're, they're just so good. They give you something. Now, this side of the walls, you can see we added a lot because it's the same thing on this side. And then the other side doesn't have as much in some of the corners, but we did add quite a fit on the on the edges, right? Just coming down. Okay, so now we're gonna add the repair bench. Uh, I wasn't sure where I want it, and I decided to put it actually on the outside because something that we use a lot, so it's just quick there, 
get there, repair your stuff, and you can walk out. You don't have to go inside. Okay, so we're gonna put a chest right over here. Uh, I like it where we put it right there in that little corner of the steps. I think that feels really great. Now, we're gonna add this little toolbox. This steel block, this toolbox also help with uh, crafting speed. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. We're gonna add this chair. So now we're adding a lot of these other details that we need, right? Uh, I decided to add a, maybe a couple more chairs on the front. You know, people are just hanging out. People are walking here. Maybe they're just sitting. Now, I don't. I, I left it up to here. I don't know how I'm gonna bring this section and attach it to the center of the base camp just yet. I do have idea that are coming in my mind. How do I want to approach that? But I'm, I'm not there just yet because we're working kind of all going around a circle and then do the middle, right? Uh, that's been my approach, uh, at least for this idea that I'm trying to do, at least right now for this base camp. Okay, so we're adding a little bit of the corner over here. I was hoping that I can add, add something else on top of that, but it wasn't working the way that I wanted to. So we're gonna add another barrel out here, and this is just to make that little empty section there feel that it has something, you know, not just bare. Okay, and then now we're doing a final walkthrough. So this is the building, and I love it. I, I truly do. I look look at the benches. Look, it just looks like we got a proper balcony. It looks like we got a fence. Look at all the greenery. We got the squares. We got the assembly line going. You see the you you, you see the spheres going. Oh my gosh! It's, it just and it's hidden. And I love that. And as you can see, uh, I I actually extended this little plaza over here. It was a little smaller, so I separated more of the tools. We got a little break room area. And here's the logging area, as you can see. I just went the long way and made it too flat to the ground instead of using a little flooring, so it's flat to the ground. We go through here. Here's a little break room area, you know, because you need to eat, you know, you're working hard. Okay, so we go over here. As you can see, the grass coming through the stone. I think that looks amazing. I, I just like that feel of it. And then we got one of the first area, one of the first rooms, you know, where you gotta, you know, you gotta do the ore, you got all that. Now, once we get the other equipment, all is gonna be upgraded, but for now, this is uh, what we have. And again, everything, you gotta go in and out. Everything is kinda divided, you know? I add a couple more flowers just to give her something, you know? If you don't like the flowers, you don't have to keep them. There's the assembly line over there. Now, we took the wall down because sometimes the pals are, they don't wanna come through here in the middle. And so they have access to the size and I'm okay with that. And I think it looks actually looks really good and it makes it very easy for them to have access. Now we have the other area over here. A couple more touches, as you can see, add a couple more things on the wall over there. But we got a weapon a station crafting over there. And then some of the best part is to go to the top, to go to our garden rooftop area. And like I said, look at the silo. And as you come in, you can start seeing like the, a little fake pergola, so you know, we're gonna go on top. We got over here, we got the wee feel. And then I noticed here that I needed to add a little more and I still had a little, I, I, I need to create uh, more more of the, what we need, I think it's the, the fiber or to create a little more vines, you know, but I, I that little corner was a little too plain. So I just went ahead and added one real quick because I'm here right now and I wanted, uh, I could, think about it at this very moment. And the same thing over here, uh, I added, I wanted to add more over here, but I did right now, so we're gonna add more eventually. So in another build video, uh, you may see that this may look a little more green. Uh, I just want it a little bit on the edges, like it's coming from the other side, coming already looping into the inside. So that's, that's a little detail that I need to add more across here, but we'll do that in another time. All right, so we get to the rooftop garden and look at this. You know, they're coming over here, they're harvesting. We got a little break room area. You know, we can stand over here. We can start overlooking our home. That, that our home is gonna move now because now the old work area is gone. So now I cannot adjust the home. That's gonna be a fun project to do, right? Move all of that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, we got this old area. We got the middle, we got the top, we got the wheat farm. Look at that, see? And they're already harvesting. So they're gonna replant again. So that's gonna get done. Look at the silo, looking all nice and neat. The bench is making the fences. And I love that the piles go up and down. It just gives it a little bit, something more fun to look at when you see your piles just going around, you know, in your base. Uh, I just love it. Look at our shrine. The shrine is looking really good. 
Thank you so much for everybody that commented on the Shrine video, how much you're liking it, that you have the basics coming out. I hope this video inspired you of what can be done, how they approach this. You don't have to go super big. You don't have to go in all these different directions. There's different ways to approach uh, any build. You know, I went a two story way to save some room in this little base can that we have. But I think overall, I think for my first attempt, uh, something like this and not being able to do my original idea, I think we came out really good. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.